Welcome to how to install Chrome OS on an external hard drive. Chrome OS runs on an external hard drive and does not affect your computer. You use Chrome OS as a second operating system for its own purposes. Your computer's hard drive does not take up space. So what do you need to do? Let's get started. Here is the external hard drive I used in this video. You connect it to your computer. In this video I used a desktop but you can apply it to a laptop. You can use the entire external hard drive to install Chrome OS. But in addition to Chrome OS I want to use the external hard drive for data storage so I create two partitions on it. One partition is called Chrome OS and one is called data with the same purpose as its name. I recommend you create a partition of at least 20 GB to install Chrome OS. If you want to install more applications on Chrome OS then you should increase the size. After complete creating partitions on the external hard drive you install the Linux environment on the Windows computer. On Windows you open the command window with administrative rights. In the command window you install a Windows subsystem for Linux. It will take a few minutes to complete the installation. After completing the installation of the Linux environment on the Windows computer you are asked to restart to apply the changes. As requested I restart the computer and go to the next setup steps. After restarting Windows a Linux window automatically appears. In the Linux window you create a new administrator account. You use it when installing applications and logging into Linux. You temporarily minimize the Linux window to download the files to install Chrome OS. Depending on which processor you are using, there will be a separate installation file for you. On Windows computers you determine the processor you are using. On Windows 11 you follow the steps above to find the processor code. My computer uses a 9th generation processor so I downloaded the installation file with name Shivana. These are the recovery files of Chrome OS. You download the latest version of Chrome OS. Next, you download the Chrome OS bootloader on your Intel computer. You combine the above files to install and run Chrome OS on your Intel computer. One file helps to boot Chrome OS and one file helps to install Chrome OS.
After downloading, you unzip them. Then you merge the two folders into a single folder named Chromius. I create a new folder named Chromius. Next, I copy all the files from the two folders that have just been downloaded and paste them to the newly created folder. So in the folder named Chromius there are all the downloaded files. You know to rename the recovery file to chromius.bin. Because in the next part, you use this file name in a command in Linux, so you pay attention to name the file like that. Now, let's go back to the Linux window. Here you update Linux using the above command. You use the password created in the previous step to update and install the application's use. Next you use the above command to install some applications such as unzip. We navigate to the folder named Chromius that was created in the previous step. In this folder save all the files I downloaded. You change the command as above to navigate to the target folder. There are differences between Linux and Windows so you need to make the changes as above. These are the files needed to create the necessary image file of Chromius. For the above command you determine the partition to save Chromius and the size of the image file. Now you define the partition to install Chromius on the external hard drive. In this case the Chrome OS partition on my external hard drive is assigned the letter D. I use the letter D to update the target partition in the command. Next you set the image file size. Of course the image file is smaller than the partition size. After completing you copy and paste the above command in the Linux window. It takes about 20 minutes to complete the installation of Chromius on the external hard drive so you wait patiently. The image file is completed and now you set up dual boot. You set up dual boot to use both operating systems on the same computer. The above command automatically creates a text file that helps you configure dual boot using a tool called grub to win You follow these steps to set up dual boot windows in Chrome OS. 
you download the tool called Grub to Win. After downloading, you install Grub to Win. After completing the installation, you add a new entry. Here is a guide to add Chrome OS to the boot list on your Windows computer. Like the guide, you just follow the steps above. In the partition named Chrome OS, there is a text file created in the previous step. You copy the contents of that text file to add Chrome OS to the boot list on your computer. Don't forget to apply the changes on Grub to Win before restarting your computer. Now you restart your computer and you choose to boot from brunch. Your computer boots Chrome OS for the first time after installing on an external hard drive. I recommend you to use a Google account for a good experience when using Chrome OS. And this is the result after completing the installation of Chrome OS on an external hard drive. Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Good luck. If you want to use Windows, just restart your computer and choose Windows.